Hi there, students. Phlegmatic, an adjective. Phlegm, the noun. Uh, phlegmatically, um, the adverb. Okay, if you if you describe somebody as phlegmatic, they're not easily excited. They remain calm. They don't easily get emotional. Um, his uh, reaction to the bad news was extremely phlegmatic. He reacted phlegmatically. He has uh, a lot of phlegm to his character. Okay, notice as well phlegm can be the mucus that you cough up. <coughs> phlegm. Phlegm's normally from the chest, but not from the nose. That's mucus or snot, phlegm. Sorry about a rather disgusting subject. So, phlegmatic, somebody who's not easily excited. Um, the British are said to have an extremely phlegmatic character. Yeah, this is uh, the uh, stereotype of the phlegmatic uh, British person. So, stolid. I think stolid is a good synonym for this. Uh, for phlegmatic. Um, you're going to ask me if there's any difference. I'm certain of this. Phlegmatic, stolid. I think maybe phlegmatic has more of a nuance of being in absolute control of your emotions or your reactions. Whereas stolid, I think it's more you're just unfeeling. You don't know any better. You just don't react. Yeah, um, so I think maybe stolid is more an internal quality, whereas phlegmatic is more a question of mind control. But I think both words are uh, good synonyms. Yeah, so phlegmatic, calm, cool, composed, cool headed. Yeah, N stiff upper lip, not reacting. Yeah, having a great deal of phlegm the, as a dominant humour from ancient times. Yeah, so phlegmatic, unemotional, cold, indifferent, uh, stoical, very matter of fact. Yeah, so he's very uh, stoic, he's very cold blooded, he's completely unflappable. If you can remain phlegmatic uh, in times of crisis, it will help you think very clearly. Yeah, not you're not easily excited to action. Maybe sluggish as well, very slow to act, very calm and uh, detached and not... Um, not hot-blooded, okay? And this is the idea of phlegmatic. Um, let's see, I think in many situations in life it's good to be phlegmatic because there's very often not much you can do about a situation. But uh, with the people around you and the people you love, being phlegmatic is uh, not a good characteristic. <clears throat> okay, now what about formality? Phlegmatic. This is quite a formal word. I think I would give it something like 7, 7.5 in formality. It sounds really rather literary to me. Could you use it in an informal conversation? I think probably not. Maybe, but I don't think it's a good choice of word. I think um, calm, relaxed, composed, something like that in an informal um context a good word in an essay or something like that um and then let's see this is one that actually comes to us from from ancient greek through latin and through french um there's an old french word phlegmatique uh and then we have a latin word phlegmaticus but the ancient greek word phlegmaticos from phlegma uh, a meaning phlegm itself, okay? So, are you a phlegmatic person? If you can remain phlegmatic while you're speaking English and not get excited and, and concentrate on what you're saying, your performance will be much better.
yeah, it's easy for me to say remain phlegmatic while in a conversation with a native speaker, but <laughs> um, it, it, the ca cool, calm and collected would help you a lot. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Phlegmatic.